Stories of the Bible, the Good Samaritan. This is Jesus, hey. who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait! The man then asked, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. 
A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. Ah! They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> by chance, a priest came along. <laughs> but when he saw the man lying there, uh, yep. he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. He's out. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Ah. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Once there was a boy who won a big game. Of course, when one team wins, another loses. But that's how these things go. After the game, the boy waited for his ride. A ride that, unfortunately, didn't come. As he was walking home, a group of bullies happened upon him. They tormented the boy and stole some of his things. Stop. Hey, hey, give it to me. Then they walked off, leaving him alone. By chance, one of Jack's teammates came along. But when he saw Jack lying there and saw the bullies, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. Another of the boy's teammates walked up. He thought of helping the boy, but he feared it would be too much trouble. So he also crossed to the other side and passed him by. Then a member of the other team came along. The boy from the other team felt compassion for him. He helped him and cared for him. Of the three boys that found him, two walked by and one stopped to help him. Which do you think acted as a neighbor to him? What's up guys, I'm Tyler and welcome back to our fifth episode of Rewind. Rewind is a show where we scour the web looking for the most awesomest viral videos and we show them to you, my loyal viewers. So let's get started. Rewind. 
rewind. Today we're gonna kick it off with a game called the Pain O Meter. Pain O Meter. That's right, the Pain O Meter is very simple to play. Basically, all I have to do is watch a video of someone experiencing something very painful and gets hurt, and I rate that level of pain on the Pain O Meter scale. A one is a pretty low pain level, but a five is an extreme level of pain. Make sense? Awesome, let's do this. Video number one, check it out. How much you pay for that taco? Hey, right, yo, you know what it is. Got taco. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, ouch, yeah, I'm gonna have to give this one a three on the pain scale. He fell straight onto concrete and that had to hurt, but also just the moral pain of losing a taco. That is never ever fun to go through. So it's a three on the pain o meter Let's check out our next video. Uh-oh, big water slide. The royal flush. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> That was one of the, the worst backflops I've ever seen. You really gotta hear this one. Oh, thank goodness she was wearing a life jacket. I can definitely relate to that one. I've had my fair share of backflops and belly flops, and that is gonna win her a score of a three on the pain meter Let's check out our next video. All right, we got some beach soccer going on. Oh! Oh man, I gotta watch that one one more time. Here we go. It looks just like the soccer ball and he, oh! Ooh, that is crazy. I gotta think about this one. This is very interesting. We have two people getting hurt. I think I'm gonna have to give two scores. I'll give the guy who kicked him a pain -o meter rating of four. Cause that has to hurt. And the guy that got kicked, I don't know, it's gotta hurt even more. I gotta give that a five. And so I think for the first time in the pain o meter game history, I'm gonna give a combined score of a nine. Next video, here we go. Oh man! We gotta watch that one more time. The sound he makes when he hits the railing, that is classic. My favorite part though by far is his friend screaming call 911 because that kid certainly does need an ambulance. I'm gonna have to rate this one a perfect five. Let's check out the next video. Okay, friendly soccer game. No one picked him up? Don't walk home by yourself at night. See, bullies, I told you, I knew it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, they're beating him up. Oh man. Getting mugged is the worst. Oh, his teammate's there. Good. What? Bro, you gotta find a new soccer team, man. These guys are lame. Uh-oh, the other team. Oh. What? I'm glad that at least in the end, someone was able to help this kid. I mean, getting beat up by two people when it's just you to defend yourself, that at least has to be a four. But if I'm understanding this correctly, the boy got beat up and then the kids from his own team wouldn't even help him? But then later when a player from a different team saw that he needed help, he helped him. That doesn't make any sense to me. I, I, don't, I don't get it. They were on different teams. Why would a player from a different team want to help someone from their rival team? But that does remind me of a Bible story and it's the, called the parable of the Good Samaritan. And in this parable, Jesus was teaching us about the importance of caring for others. In the parable, a Jewish man was attacked by robbers, just like the boy, while he was walking to town. They beat him up, they took his clothes and robbed him of his money and they just left him there on the side of the road. A priest happened to walk by and when he saw the man lying on the road, he simply just kept walking, a priest. And then next, a Levite came across the man but he chose to ignore him too. But then lastly, a Samaritan walked past the man and this time, however, the Samaritan stopped. And without even thinking twice, the Samaritan took out some oil and bandages to heal the man's wounds. He lifted him up onto his donkey and he walked him to the nearest inn to get some rest. The Samaritan even paid for the man to sleep and to be taken care of for several nights. In this parable, the Samaritan shows us how we should care for others, just like how Jesus would. We should show others compassion and help them in need. When we see people who need help, we should help them. 
we can show the same love the Samaritan did by caring for those around us through both our words and our actions. Meeting simple needs is one way to show other people that we care. Whether it's helping out our siblings with their chores or even asking kids at recess to play with you when they're playing by themselves. We can be a good neighbor just like the Samaritan was when we run towards people in need and not away from them. And if we see somebody with a pain meter of four or even five, let's take that down to a zero by caring for that person. All right, guys, we are just about done here. Thank you for joining us on our final episode of Rewind. Okay, bye.